What's up guys, welcome back to Austin Make Stuff. This week I'm gonna show you how to turn a single stage dust collector into a two stage dust collector. Now to explain what I'm talking about is that this is the Harbor Freight um, dust collector. It is currently a single stage dust collector, meaning it basically sucks dust in and it blows air out through the filter bag and into this, um, into this bag down here that collects the dust itself. So meaning that there's only one stage that it goes through to get to this process. To turn it into a two stage, that means that there's gonna have to be something in line between where the chips come in and where it goes into the motor, uh, into the blower motor that separates the chips. So the first stage will be uh, chip separation and dust separation into a canister. And then the air that comes out of here will be a lot cleaner and we actually won't have much dust accumulate in the bottom of this bag and this filter will um, take care of the rest. Now Harbor Freight dust collectors are kind of notorious for coming with a bad filter bag. This is only down to five microns, which is not very good. So if you're sucking up a lot of dust, you might notice that the air starts getting a little foggy. And that's because there's a lot of the fine dust particles floating around. And that's actually the stuff that's really bad for your lungs and for you to breathe in. So we need to do something about this as well. But the first step for me is gonna be to separate out as much of that dust and dirt as we can before it even gets to the stage. Now this will also prolong the life of your dust collector so the dust isn't going into the fan motor and clogging everything up. Um, it's actually separated out before it gets to the fan so it'll keep your fan cleaner and it'll keep your blower motor uh, to where it'll last a long time. Pretty much the first part is that you're gonna have to find something that the dust can accumulate in. And in my case, I grabbed this 20 gallon uh, trash can from Lowe's and we're going to convert this into something that the chips can fall into. And to do that, we've got to turn it into a cyclone. So there are a couple of different options online if you want to buy a cyclone that separates dust from the air. The problem is if you buy a cyclone cyclone, it can be as much as $200, $150 to $200. And we just don't have that kind of money. So I found this solution on Amazon and I'll leave a link in the description below for this and all the other products that we're using. But what it is, is it's called the Fulton 4-inch Dust Separator Kit. So basically what it is, is that there's these two connecting pieces. This piece goes inside of the trash can on top of the lid, and then this one will go on top of it on the outside of the lid, and the air will come in and spin around the trash can. So we're gonna angle one this way and one the other way. It'll make kind of a cyclone within the trash can and that's how we're gonna get it to separate inside. So let's get started on modifying this trash can into a dust separator cyclone. So to get started, it's pretty simple. Um, it comes with a template, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. Basically, we've got two of these and one's gonna go on each side of this can. So I'm gonna take the marker and basically make a circle around where I need to cut. And then also, if I can get it, I'm gonna make some marks where we'll need to drill some holes. Now my lid isn't flat, uh, but I think it'll work good enough. I think once we put these screws in, it'll kind of pinch all this together and flatten that out. So I'm not too worried about it. But anyways, I'm gonna do the same thing on the exact other side. So I'm just gonna put this close to the edge of the line. It'll be just enough for me to get my jigsaw in to start the cut.
All right, so in this step, we're gonna put these in. I'm gonna put one on each side. I'm gonna make sure that they're both aimed in the same direction. So this one will be facing this way, and then around on this side, this one will be facing this way. We're gonna bolt this on the underside here. It'll look like this from the side. So let's go ahead and get one put on. Now I have the other side on as well. And underneath, as you can see, they're both spinning in the same direction. So it'll make kind of a vortex inside of this. And if I find that I need to, I might come back with some silicone and put it around this edge here. And even on the inside, there's a little bit of a lip. I can put some silicone in there to make sure that it's completely airtight. All right, so now that we've got this all put together, now we just need to put it in the line between the dust and the cyclone. So I'm gonna choose, I'm using this for another purpose, so I'm just gonna choose a little bit of this to cut off. So now I've got two sections. I'll put one from here to there. And actually it comes with a couple of fittings. It comes with a couple of pipe clamps. So I'm going to put one on this side. I'm actually gonna run this piece from here into the dust collector. I'm not going to worry about putting a pipe clamp on this section yet. All right, so that's tight. And now we've got this within that same line that we were using before. So let me give you an example of how much uh, dust that this will collect and how much will go into there. I don't currently have a ton of sawdust in my shops, but I do have in my storage closet, I had a really uh, dirty area and I've kind of thrown a little bit more dirt in there so that we can, I can give you an example of how this works. It'll pick up the dirt. Hopefully, if we did everything right, it'll distribute it in here and there won't be very much in the actual cyclone itself. So let's see uh, how that works. All right, so here's my pile. This is just some junk that's been in the storage closet for a while. <clears throat> it's not really something that we use very often in here, but uh, I'm gonna be storing my dust collector in here so it makes sense that we get it cleaned up. Um, and I'm gonna use the dust collector to do it. So this isn't necessarily sawdust, but it's kind of a wide range of fine particles to lightweight materials to a little bit heavier stuff with some of the um, drywall pieces. But let's just see how it does and see if it separates it out. So I'm gonna turn the dust collector on. See if we have success. The first measure of success will be whether or not it sucks it up. It seems to be doing just fine. I'm gonna not suck that nail up, but yeah. It sucked it up just fine. Let's see how much ended up in the dust separator versus inside of the actual dust collector itself. All right, before we open the dust can, I wanna see exactly how much made it through. Now this thing wasn't completely clean just to begin with, but as you can see, there's basically nothing in this bag other than this is probably what was left over. Um, I don't know if you can see that. This is all that was left over. That was, this was probably just what was left over before I dumped it out. The true measure of success will be what, the can, what it looks like inside of the can. Here's the moment of truth. All right, so that looks like just about all of the dust that we just sucked up. And now it's in the can. And not in the dust collector. So 
Now we save this motor by not letting this kind of stuff go through it. We keep it cleaner, it'll last longer. We don't have to worry about the bag so much and we don't have to worry about the filter as much. Uh, but I'm gonna be addressing this in a future setup. I'm gonna be installing a dust collection system uh, throughout my shop. And one of the main things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be exhausting this outside, so I'll show you how to do that. Overall, I'm very pleased with this dust separator. And that is how you turn a single stage dust collector into a double stage or a two stage dust collector. So now the first stage is the cyclone. It cyclones out the dust. And the second stage is the filter. So there it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.